This video is for all those teachers out there who love using Google Slides or PowerPoint in their classroom because I'm going to show you a website that has tons of presentation templates that you can use in your classroom today. So I've been using this website to help plan and build materials for my lessons on my Cambridge Delta course. Now, if you're not familiar with that course, it's a diploma run by Cambridge University that's kind of the second step after CELTA, which is usually the first qualification that teachers make. And I've been using this website and the presentations have looked so good that I think I've managed to impress my tutors and my students. So the name of the website is slidesgo.com and it does have some pricing plans, but don't worry, there is a free plan and with that free plan you can get access to over a thousand presentations for your classroom. When we get to the home page we can see we can search so you can search for anything that you need for your class or there are some topics like education, classroom ready, business, marketing, medical. So let's take a look at an example we're just going to go to education and let's have a little scroll down until we see one that we'd like the look of. Okay, so this one I'm gonna choose, which is called Online Notebook. I like the color scheme, although I can change this by clicking on these colors here. Now, as I said before, I like the look of it. I like the aesthetics. Now, the text and everything that's in the presentation, I'm gonna change. But just from looking at it, I think this is something that looks nice, and I think I could use this in my classroom. So before we actually use it, we can just flick through some of the types of slides that it has. And this will help you as well to decide whether you want to use it or not. If I'm looking to show in my class the division of something and imagine there happen to be four things that I need to show in my classroom and this happens to have a, a graph with four things, then this could be of use to me in my class. So let's say that, okay, I'm happy with this presentation. I wanna use this for my own class. All I need to do is go to the right hand side and click on download this template. If I click on the little arrow here, I'm gonna get two options, which is either Google Slides or PowerPoint. Now, I'm a Google person, so I'm gonna use the Google Slides. This is what I'm gonna do with you today. I'm gonna show you how to set this up within Google Slides. So I've clicked on Google Google Slides and it's now going to ask me to make a copy because obviously I can't use the original. Now within my profile, within my Google account, I've now got a copy of exactly the same presentation that I can now edit as much as I want. So as you can see, there are 60 slides that contain the presentation that we just downloaded. And something that I actually missed when I first started using this was if you keep going down, there are actually some alternative resources. So if you're editing this presentation and you're missing some icons or some graphics, actually at the end of the presentation, there are slides that contain lots of icons and resources that you can just copy and paste into the slides that you wanna use. So for example, if I click here, I've got a learning icon pack and all of these icons can be selected and copied. Now, if you're wondering where is this presentation saved? Well, if you just go to your Google Drive in the case that you're using it as a Google slide, and it will just be placed in your My Drive folder. So the first place you visit when you go to Google Drive. So in this case, you can see here, I'm on My Drive. I've got a lot of documents I haven't organized yet. And the last one that I've just opened is this presentation, which is just appearing right at the end here. All of the presentations you're gonna see in this video that I've made are all available on my website, charlieslessons.com. And they all form part of whole lesson plans. So I'll put a link to my website in the description below. So let me show you an example of one that I used with my classes. I was doing a lesson on abilities and I thought, okay, abilities, let's relate it to superheroes because, you know, it's obvious. I'm gonna to go to search for a template and type in superhero. As I was looking through this, the first one was the one that caught my eye. So I just clicked on this and as I showed you before, I downloaded it as a Google slide. Then to use it in my class, all I did was I just deleted some of the existing slides and created these ones. So I took these images actually off the internet, but some of these slides actually came with the presentation itself. So for example, this division of the slide here with the verses in the middle, that was already there and it worked really well when I was working with the difference between can and can't. So here's an example of a lesson that I've done with my students. It was on the topic of travel. So I searched for two Two key terms that I wanted to look for which were travel and booking and I found this one which I, again I like the look of. So you can see here this slide was part of the original presentation well, all I had to do was just to edit the text to some questions that I wanted to ask my students about airports. And so here's another example of a presentation that I took from Slides Go and all I had to do was just edit some of the text so it fitted with my class. You can see that some of these slides, for example, this contents page works really well because this was a longer lesson and I want to give my students an idea of what the structure of the class was. It also had these nice titled slides which separate the lesson into sections which really helped my students to follow the class. 
Don't forget, if you like the look of the presentations that I've shown you in this video, then they all form part of whole lesson plans you can get on my website that I've linked down below. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this website can help you build some beautiful presentations for your students. I'll see you in the next video.